Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting game of boys high school varsity soccer here on CPHS 6. I'm Carl Staffworth. Tonight's matchup, your report here on High Big Reds take on the visiting Marysville Vikings. Just underway now as the Vikings control the ball back to their defense. Nice takeaway on the challenge by Port Huron High. Nate Robinson with the takeaway. Vikings trying to push it back through center. Working the far side. Vikings up the middle. Near sideline, Big Reds. That's Chris Webb looking for a teammate. Runs the ball into the box and unable to chase it down. Scooped up for the Vikings. That's Brandon Roski in that. Actually, check that. I believe that's Chad Roberts. In net for the Vikings. Reds trying to make play on offense. Just outside the box, shot in, deflected out. Still another opportunity for the Big Reds. Kasich now. And Miller. Nice takeaway, Osmanovic. Trying to keep it in the zone. Vikings trying to push it the other way. Play a ball up. Should be, get, should, should be reached by the Big Reds defense first, and it is. Nice passing. Well, Djokovic gets it up to Mallon. Nate Robinson and played out of bounds will throw in. <laughs> Miles will take the throw in. Try to get it inside the box off a Marysville defender. A nice cross. Oski's able to clear it out of there though. Big Red's still trying to pose a threat. Big Red's just a little out of position. It could have been an opportunity for him there. Far side now, Spencer Parker. Parker plays back towards center. A little bit of passing along the far sideline, but we'll see if this one rolls out of bounds, and it does. Trying to set something up. Quick throw in for the Big Reds. All bouncing around, eventually controlled by Miller at center. Plays a long ball into the box, and once again, easy save for the goalkeeper. So dumping a couple of those passes, a couple of those balls in. The Big Red's got to try to get something going, passing, trying to work their way into the box. Robinson fighting for it on the near side. Pass back to center and booted back the other way for the Vikings. Nice challenge, able to keep it in. Oh, they're going to whistle. Looked like that one stayed on the line, but apparently just rolled out. Battle for it now, centering opportunity. And yeah, didn't get all that one, would have loved to clear it. It's still a good effort to get out of the zone. That's Kasich on defense. Kind of a little too far in front of him, taken away by the Vikings. Some 
sideline, Chris Webb. Get over to Mallon. And once again, the Big Reds try to go right up the middle and just booted away by the Vikings defense. That one over the foot of Chris Webb, now giving chase. And clears it to the sidelines. Gonna be out on the Vikings, so Big Red throwing. Nice challenge, keep that one in midfield. Jared Isles. Pass along the far side. That's Alwahi. Trying to keep it in the box. Let's see if he's got a shot to center here. Little slow dribbler and easy save for the goalie. So nice to see the Big Reds working from the outside in there, looking for the cross. But denied a couple times, just trying to go right up the middle. Nice challenge. Taken away by Robinson. Back towards midfield, retreating his laying off. Elwahi in the corner. That's going to be whistled off sides. A little free kick for the Vikings. It's going to be taken by the keeper. Big Reds are coached by Jeremy Rosenau. Assistant coach Sam Seppo. Rolls out of bounds. Big Red throw in. Trying to hurry the tempo. Miller working the ball well in the midfield today. Got a laying off right next to him. Try to set it up for these forwards. Long ball played in. Had a back in, and that's a handball, incidental, but still a handball nonetheless. So free kick for the Big Reds. If that didn't take that bounce, that would have been a pretty good opportunity for the Vikings. Running out of room in the corner. Nice centering cross, a little too far. Looks like the Vikings are going to remain in control. They're going to play that one off the Big Reds and we'll have a throw in. Shot, that's deflected back out. And the Big Reds finally clear center. All the forwards are back on the other side of the field. Goalie able to run up and actually boot that one right back to his offense. Foot raise for it here. Vikings get to it first. Near sideline, play, tries to play a ball in. Nice block by Chris Webb. Now Robinson looking for some room. Able to keep it and try to play it to his own teammate. Pass eventually gets through. Pass for Robinson a little bit behind him. We'll have to wait and then see if he leaves it for his teammate. Wait for the team to get upfield. Nice ball hooking into the box. Oahe on the other side. Nice interception there and going the other way for the Vikings. That's Keaton Weingart. So just about 10 minutes in, still no score. 30-24 officially on the clock. And tonight's matchup between Port Huron High Big Reds and the visiting Marysville Vikings. Big 
Reds have kind of been the controlling team, but neither team has looked particularly sharp thus far. Although I don't believe the Vikings have officially even had a shot on net. They pull that one wide and we'll have a goal kick. Eric Langoff back there in net tonight. As we await the goal kick. As ball played up towards center. Osmanovic, first one to play it. And Miller now trying to get Awahi on the far side line. That one just drifts out of bounds. Gali on the far sideline. Trying to get some moves. And we saw him earlier with a nice centering pass. Just no one there. Got the right mindset, though. Big Reds have been shut down a couple times. They tried to go right up the middle. Turnover right inside the box. The opportunity here. Beat the keeper. And that's open if someone can get a shot. Tried to get it over to Robinson. And just cut off the angle. Eventually out of bounds. Throw in. But the Big Reds still threatening. Shot in on net, and an easy save for the keeper. It was Jared Isles with the shot. Good job coming back, Paul Robinson with the big reds. Once again, Miller trying to set everything up in midfield, gets to Osmanovic. Webb trying to make a move. Gets it over to Golly. Pass intercepted, actually. That's what, that's what his intent was. Long shot, and that's deflected. Good defense by the Vikings stopping that shot. Once again, that's Weingart's on the stop. Play through center, the Big Red's not leaving many guys back. They're an opportunity there, especially if the Djokovic was beat on that play, but able to secure the ball there. Still a risky play defensively. Now run the near side line, following the whole time as Webb, and that, they're gonna say he just got ball. That was a close call there, able to knock it out of bounds. Great defense coming back, Chris Webb. Slide tackle was clean. And actually able to clear to the sideline. Tough to see from my angle. Thought we might have a corner. That one off the side of his foot, so. Great heads up play to clear it to the sideline to prevent the corner kick. Ethan McCannon with the shot that just went wide. Goal kick for the Big Reds. Nice pass at center. Big Reds look like they got to shorten up these passes a little bit, try to stay in control. That went off. Not really where he wanted to hit it. Popped it right back up, but the Big Reds now control it. Golly on the far sideline. Tries to get it over in center. Back to the midfield. We'll roll through center. Let's see if the Vikings can get do, do anything with it. Oh, man, for sure. Pulls up the, puts on the brakes. And had a collision on the field. Two players shaken up. They both seem to be all right. One from each team. A whistle on the play. Incidental contact. And both of them appear to be all right. We'll stay in the game. And we're going to get a trip there. And a free kick. 
for the Vikings. McCann with the free kick. This ball just outside the box, headed away. The Big Reds will wait as they get their forwards back up, try to make a run. Miller got it over to Mallon. So 25-22 remaining, still scoreless. Dolly with the, with the pass, got it over to Osmanovic. Back to the midfield. Once again, Miller. Knocked away, stays with it though. Tries to play it up in the box. Could have an opportunity here as Monovich. See if he can get off any kind of shot. Nice pass and off the knee. Would like to get some kind of shot on that, but nice attempt. Jason Mallon. Ball played at center by Webb. And once again, all out hustle. Trying to hustle that one down. Unable to reach it in time, but gotta love the effort. Really like the way that you see Webb and Miller controlling this midfield. Letting that handball play on. Here we go, Nate Robinson. Makes a nice cut, looking for a teammate. Decides his best opportunity is a shot. And it's a well-placed one, but nice save by the keeper. Bounces back on defense for the Big Reds. On the midfield line. That one booted, we'll see he's onside. Nice defense coming back and making a play defensively. No joke of it. Great defensive play. Broke up a big scoring opportunity for the Vikings there. Golly along the far side. Plays it up, Osmanovic giving chase. Unable to knock that one down, but did force it out of bounds. Will be a throw in. <clears throat> Throwing for the Vikings, thought that was going for the Big Reds. Trying to make a move, tried to get that one inside to Robinson. Now right in front, right up the middle, looking for a shot. And gets one. Defenders all around him didn't have much of an angle. Osmanovic. Once again, ball played at center by Webb. A little shoving there. A little shrug off the contact. Field now and gets it over to Robinson. <laughs> Jeremy Cassick at center. And whistle there. Calls for offsides. Free kick. Osmanovic caught off sides on that play. Chase now back on defense and able to come up with a save. First time he's really challenged Eric Langhoff. The Reds kind of lax in their defense. Didn't have a great angle at that shot. It was pretty much all left on his own. The best 
shot attempt he had. That was Tony Mercanti. But first action of the day for Langhoff in net. Keeping this one scoreless. Bounds will allow substitutions for both teams. Still awaiting the throw in. Looking for a teammate now, looking for anyone to throw the ball into. Teammates got to help him out there. And knocked right back out. So 19 rema minutes remaining here in the first half of play. Again, score 0-0. Zero, zero. That one played by the Big Reds. Try and take it all the way upfield himself. That's Jared Isles. All the way from his defensive position, now with a cross pass. And goalkeeper comes out and makes a play. And saved by Brandon Roski. Once again, knocked back to the keeper. And that one off the side of his foot, and that one will be out of bounds on the near sideline. Oh, throw in for the Big Reds. A couple more substitutions. Nice long throw in. Nice hustle through the ball there. Well, Djokovic, he's had a solid game. Brandon Warzinski now on the other side. Goalie comes out, punches that one in the air. Best play he had there. Oh, collision there, and that wasn't going for the ball, so we'll have a free kick for the Vikings. Just trying to come over and make a play, but... Clearly with the collision. And we have a moment with the official. Don't believe that was official in any way purposeful. Just trying to come over and play the ball, but definitely a definitely the right call with the whistle. Referees have done a Good job keeping this game in check. Not a lot of penalties, really. Actually, clean play from both teams. Both teams not really trying to push their luck right now. Not committing a lot of penalties. Actually, most of the ones we had were for handballs anyway, and even a couple of those they let slide. Well, it's all right to play loose with them. Here. I'll swallow the whistle a couple times. As long as it's consistent and both teams aren't starting to take advantage of that out there. I haven't seen that yet, though. Let's play to Miller in the center. Golly. Try to get the pass over, not in time. Nice clearing effort by the Vikings. That's Chitwood back on defense. Excuse me, that's McCann. Trying to find some room. Going right up the middle. And that one near post, and I think it would have bounced off the post, but nice save by Brandon Roski. Nice shot attempt 
by the Big Reds. Take away there, try to protect the ball, no call, just outside the box. Like a good no call. Still battling for it though. Try to get that one in center and bounced off the back of a Marysville defender and bounced right in front of the net. Unfortunately, no one there for the Big Reds able to capitalize on it. Ball now through center. Hugging that far sideline. Stays in bounds though. Golly gives chase. Vikings try to play it up to their forwards. Neither team really able to get much going offensively. Canty with nice job putting on the brakes there. Trying to set up for his teammates. Could have a shot now. Circling around a nice defensive play. Boy, that was Jeff Langoff. Ball played in. We'll see if it's on side. Never got to him. Robinson, good challenge to take that ball away. It's been a pretty good scoring opportunity. Clean there, and we're going to get a whistle. And so we'll have a free kick for the Vikings. They take a quick one, try to catch Port here on high off guard, and it almost worked. Would have been a great opportunity. Once again, Jeff Langhoff really saved that play. Get it back to the keeper, to Eric laying off in net. And nice heads up play by the by the visiting Vikings. You know, Port Huron High still upset about that call. And you know, really it was, it was kind of a soft call, but either way they got to play on. I can't be upset with that. As we have a whistle for substitutions because they almost got burned big time there. Again, great defense, Jeff Langoff. Staying with the play. So we'll wait. And you got to be happy with the midfielders and how they're playing for the Big Reds. They're distributing the ball pretty well. The forwards, though, repeatedly trying to go right up the middle against this. Husky defense against this Viking defense. And to no luck, they're gonna have to get a little bit more creative and, like I said earlier, try to try to get their forwards in from the outside and try to get a centering pass because it's really crowded in front of the net. As we see there, another shot blocked. They're not going to be able to fin finish until they get some guys out on the wings. Pull a couple of defenders over there and free up some space in front of the net. So either team, neither team really able to get much going offensively as we, as I've said. 11-20 remaining here in the first half, still scoreless. And that one's out of bounds, we'll have a goal kick for the Vikings. That being said though, I think you gotta give the, the advantage to the Big Reds and a couple more opportunities. But still it's gonna be interesting to see how both these teams make changes at halftime. Still some time to play though in this half. Another thing you gotta be impressed too. They've mostly controlled possession. Could have an opportunity here. Gonna be a tough shot, actually. A defender there cutting down his angle. Now unable to get a get off a quick shot, but good defensive positioning. Pretty much left him no shot, but right into the chest of the goalkeeper. And an easy save for the Vikings. It's kind of good defensive challenge by Jeff Langhoff. Ball 
Ball played in, they're on side. Nice job, body positioning. Just winning that battle and able to give it over to the sideline. That's Jeremy Cassick. And that's just an example of knowing how to use your body on defense. And able to get that one over to the sideline. Great individual effort there. So haven't been tested a ton, but nice takeaway by Langhoff. Centering pass to Robinson. Oh, it rolls through. And Golly was almost there to scoop it up. The Vikings able to get it out of the zone before that. Big Reds are trying it again. Working from the outside. Nice cut inside. Let's see if he has an opportunity to center this ball. Plays it back. And knocked down by the Vikings. Play that one. And that one rolls out of bounds. Ooh, almost an illegal throw in, barely dragging that back toe. Could have a breakaway here now. We talk about how aggressive Big Reds have been playing defensively. Relying all, often on just one or two guys. And they've come up big for them. Can't say it hasn't worked, but. A lot of pressure to put on your defense. This ball played back. Header by Langhoff. And then off the header from Marysville right back to him. So eight minutes now to play here in the first half. Ball just outside top of the circle. Nice pass inside the box. I thought that was a shot, how sharp it came off his foot, but a well-placed well pass up on the other side of the box. Giving chase now, Robinson has a little behind him. He's going to have to turn up, gonna hold up for a minute, try to get it over to Golly. And a little collision at center, hit the shin guard. Now opportunity here. And off the side of his foot, no whistle. Marysville wants a call on the goal kick. Or was that deflected? And we'll have a corner. Oh, clear to the sideline. So we'll have a throw in. Vikings wanted a call there. Not a lot of contact, especially to warrant a call inside the box. Nice defensive play there. Ned Al Djokovic. We've seen some great individual efforts by this Husky, <laughs> this big red defense. As they've been put on an island a couple times. They've come out big, trying to keep that one inbounds, unable to, is laying off. And we'll have a Viking throw in. A little collision there and a little shove. And this is going to give the Vikings an opportunity. And that's Isles. And this is a player that was warned a little bit earlier. Free kick. Out comes the goalkeeper, able to punch it out. Looks like he tried to catch that one. Had to go over a Vikings player to do so. Nice play by Langhoff coming out of the box. Challenge there, nice clean slide tackle. Allow the Vikings play through it. Until that one eventually rolls over to the sidelines and out of bounds. We got a whistle, we got an injured player on the field. Thought it was just a whistle for the substitution, it's away from the ball. 
Got his leg up now. Looked like he was in quite a bit of pain, but looked like they're trying to stretch him out now. Hopefully, it's just a cramp. But either way, we'll take a second as we looked over on the play. Working on his right leg there. to be in some pain, so not entirely sure what player it was that went down. Yeah, I think it occurred away from the ball. Both teams kind of using this as a timeout as their teammate gets worked on. Hopefully, again, not a serious injury, but Getting attention from the Port Huron High training staff. <laughs> and now up on his feet, that is Chris Webb, as he walks gingerly off the field. Good to see him walking on his own power, though. Webb has been a big part of this game, so losing him definitely is going to hurt the Big Reds. He is walking on his own power. He will sub out for now. It'll be interesting to see if, if we see him later today. First thing he does, grab Gatorade, hopefully some dehydration or something like that but definitely walking with a limp so hope Chris Webb is all right and back on the field we have a throw in how we'll resume play for the Vikings whistle starts 515 on the clock so scoreless here in the first half again tonight's game Port Huron High Big Reds against the visiting Marysville Vikings. Nice cut. Bunch of bodies in front of the net. Out comes Langhoff, gets his hands on it. Pokes it out of bounds. It's going to lead to a corner. I was going to miss wide left, but tough to tell that as a goalie. Had to make a play on it, but now an opportunity here for the Vikings with this corner kick. Short corner. And the Big Reds clear it out. Actually not that short, but just the top of the circle. No one really in a good position to make a play on the ball there. I'm sure they would have liked to hook that one a little bit more inside the box. That one will roll out of bounds. Big red throw in. Nice long throw into Robinson. Once again, has put on the brakes. Nice pass. Tried to get over to Miller, but intercepted by Chad Roberts. That would have been a big opportunity for the Big Reds. Talked about Webb and Miller really controlling the midfield, distributing the ball well for Port here on high tonight, and it's going to be interesting. You're definitely going to have seen Miller and possibly some other players step up to fill the role of Webb. At least for now, anyway. There's Miller with it. Bounce off a couple defenders. Back to the Vikings. On the far side, that's Jake Carroll. Plays it back towards midfield. Weingart's trying to make a move. That one cleared out of bounds. We'll have a throw in. Here 
near sideline, giving chase all the way up from defensive position, Jeff Langhoff, and making a nice cut and tried to shoot it out of the air. Stayed in, nice opportunity by Nate Robinson, trying to keep the play alive now, centering pass. Got it to Golly. Got a header on it, but just didn't get much behind it. Out comes the goalkeeper, and he'll scoop that one up. Again, solid in net tonight. Brandon Roski for the Vikings. But a good opportunity there for the Big Reds. Good to see him trying to get something going offensively. Neither team really looking sharp, though. This could be a one nothing game. We'll see if the desperation kicks in the second half or what the coaches say at halftime as that approaches. Minute 45 remaining here. This one could be a foot race, and goalie's aware that Golly's chasing him the whole way. And little plays like that, too. It's important to run that out, too, to make it put pressure on the goalie because you never know when he's going to bobble that ball or and just the added pressure of a forward running towards you. Those little effort plays always help. Vikings once again content dropping it back to their defense and the midfielders. It seems like seems like those are the players who Almost exclusively controlled the ball this game for both teams, defense and midfielders. Haven't seen a lot going from either forwards. Not anything sustained anyway. Golly's had a good game on the far side. But just unable to really get anything going. It's been the battle of midfielders as the final seconds tick. Nice takeaway there. And we're going to whistle. And that's Jared Isles, and I believe that's his third penalty of the game. And he was warned after the first one. Long shot as we hear the buzzer horn. Saved by Langhoff anyway. And that will do it for the first half. So we're scoreless after one half. Again, Port Huron High, Big Reds visiting Marysville Vikings. We'll be back for the second half in just a moment. You're on CPHS 6. Okay, back now with second half action in tonight's game. Again, still scoreless. This has pretty much been the battle of midfield all day. Neither team able to get anything going offensively. We'll see if that changes here in the second half. And always interesting to see what the coaches do at the halftime break. Not a lot of penalties called. Seen some good defensive plays by the Big Reds. As well, some the ball controlled well in the midfield area, but really unable to get anything going offensively. Not much of a challenge tonight in that for Langhoff. He's made a couple plays, but hasn't really been challenged. Couple more shots. This is Brandon Roski, goaltender for the Vikings. Still, he's had a pretty quiet day. At least in terms of in terms of quality shots. So we'll see if we can turn that around here in the second half. So in the first half, this very likely could be a one-nothing lead. And opportunity here, out comes a goalkeeper, and that one just wide. And big risk there for Eric Langhoff leaving his net. And that one, he got it by Langhoff, but just wide of the net. And that was the opportunity for the Vikings. It was Tony Mercanti. And a big break for the Big Reds as they now have a goal kick. Nice 
ball played towards center. Far sideline, that's Mercanti. Tried to center, tripped up in the middle as his teammate. Now the Big Red's going the other way, knocked it down. It was Parker. Big Red stay with it, able to clear it back towards midfield. Long shot in. And an easy save for Langhoff. Jeff laying off with the header. Big Red's just trying to control this ball. An opportunity for a shot now, and then just wide right. Not much of a window. Nate Robinson with the shot. Defenders all around him, but one of the best opportunities we've seen. Better ones anyway, goal kick for the Vikings. Again, seeing all that congestion of Viking defenders right up the middle. Got to see the big red start getting the ball to the wing more. Miller had a solid first half. He's out there right now trying to control midfield. Golly, far side, ball taken away. Good challenge. And great play, and great to see him back out there. Chris Webb went off with an injury in the first half. and Pretty light on his feet there, chased down the defender. Nice challenge and take away. So good to see him back out there for the Big Reds. Nice move. Cutting down his angles, though, and then tough shot. Sliding tackle inside the box, and that's clean. It will set up a corner. No joke, Vic. And that will set up a corner for the Vikings, but a great individual defensive effort. Always a risky play with the slide tackle inside the box. You don't want to end up with a PK. That ball just short. Still bouncing around, though. That's sometimes when it can be dangerous. All those bodies in front of the net, sometimes you don't see where the ball is coming from as a goalkeeper, and that one will bounce through, and once again, just missing wide for Canty. And aggressive on the play once again was Langhoff. So almost got burned twice. Maybe a little overly aggressive on that play. But a break for the Big Reds. Keeps this game scoreless. Nice header by the Vikings, but right back to, to Port Huron High. Webb tried to get a ball. Up to Golly. Big Reds with the throw in. Right back out, we'll do it again. Let's see if the Big Reds take the easy way out here and throw it right back into Webb, trying to get him set something up midfield. Now they're going towards the box. And for that, headed right out, and Vikings will clear. A foot race back on defense. Nice play by Kasich. He's been strong tonight. And Robson with him. 
and that one out of bounds and almost deflected off a couple of the spectators on the uh, out on blankets here at the soccer complex. Slide tackle, but battling through it. Great effort to stay with that ball is John Miller. Taking two defenders with him at one time. Kasich's going to take the free kick around midfield. Let's see how far he can boot this one. But a nice ball out of loft. Tried to get into the box. Nice shot there. And just over, over the net. But definitely a good scoring opportunity. Nate Robinson trying to make the top left corner. Great scoring opportunity there set up by the Big Reds. They've looked to make a couple more changes since half. Not seeing all that pressure up the middle like we were earlier. They were getting shut down. It's a sea of blue jerseys. All bouncing quickly the other way. Big Reds wisely just play it out of bounds. Let the defense get back. And we have a whistle. We have, once again, we have Chris Webb down on the field. And he was the one down in the first half. And it looks like he's cramping again. Immediately calls for the trainer. Just saying how good it was to see him back in the game. Obviously still dealing with the injury, trying to play through it. More cramps just reoccurring. Anyway, he'll get looked over. Man, he seemed like he knew immediately. Wait as they gonna work on him. Looks like he'll be able to walk off on his own power again. Got stretched out once again. It's his left foot, and he will kind of waddle off the field on his own power, though. And I'm thinking we're going down twice. We might not see him back in the game. So that's a, a loss for Port here on high, but remains to see. Came back once. Let's see if he. Does it again. But if it is cramps, which it looks like it seems to be, it might be something that keeps flaring up. And he definitely represents a lot of hustle, though. A lot of control in the midfield for Port here on high. So big loss if. He is out for the rest of the game. That one just over the foot of Marysville. We'll roll out of bounds. That one over the fence. We'll wait to throw in. Throw in Port Huron High. Cuts that one upfield. They can be dangerous in the center of the field, especially if something like that happens. But kind of rushed the shot, had more time with it. Probably wished he would have held on to it. That's Nick Crone. Who sails that one high and wide. The goal kick for Port here on high. Again, still scoreless. 29-53 remaining here in the second half. So someone's got to get something going offensively. And a 
believe they're gonna missile there. Okay, called it for a dangerous play. Comes on Mallon. Ball played in the box over over the head of the big reds. Now trying to clear it towards the sideline. Nice play by the Vikings, boxing out. Now a centering pass. Oh, and a miss there in the second shot. Able to knock it down. Helping his goalie, almost a dangerous play again. And the Big Reds need to get it out of the box. Kasich with one of the big plays, though. So. Al's also in, in there. But a great play by Patrick Phillip to even keep that one alive. Nice box out in the corner and centering opportunity. Whistle there. We'll Whistle before the before the throw in for a substitution. We'll back that off for a second. Now the substitution and back to the game. Marysville just trying to rush the play, trying to keep any momentum they can. This ball right in the box. Great defensive play. Great positioning. Slide tackle there. Jason Mallon, the only sophomore on this team. Poor port here on high. Miller again with some nice moves through center. Nice long pass to Robinson. See, nice cut up field. Nice, tried to get his teammates. And they just outran the pass a little bit. Had the right idea. Also had a pretty good shot himself. Chose the pass, still battling for it in the corner though. Right in front of the net. So, miss there, ball still loose and eventually, I don't know who that bounced off of, but. Roski there was able to scoop that ball up. Missed opportunity for the Big Reds is bouncing ball right in front of the net and just unable to connect on it was Nate Robinson. A tough break there, long shot in and saved by Eric Langhoff. We'll throw it short. Good job by the Vikings pressuring the ball. Seemed like they're doing that better here in the second half. Making port here on high work. Nice interception there, but staying with it is Miller. Still bumped off. And now opportunity here, only two guys back. Two on two break. Only thing he had was a shot there. Mercanti. He's been responsible for the majority of the Vikings scoring opportunities here today. Also playing well, Spencer Parker. Nice block. From the net, Mercanti once again unable to get much on that. Little push at center, no call though. And that's one thing you gotta watch, especially in these scoreless games. Players are gonna start getting frustrated. And it's been, it's a, it's been a pretty well played game. comes to no fouls really being committed, but it's gonna start getting chippy. And nothing really wrong about that about either teams. Both teams just want this win. But to go this long without a goal either way, it's frustrating for both teams. And I think we're gonna see it as this game continues. As we await the substitutions. Nice long throw in. Ball played just a little bit too far in front of him. And again, the Big Reds being aggressive with their defense, all lined up at midfield. Basically leaving two guys back, and they've held their own tonight. Right now, it looks just like Langoff 
and Kasich. Both have played well. Opportunity, though, the other way. In front of the net, bouncing. And just wide. And that was bouncing in front of the net. Almost a great scoring opportunity. So opportunity for the Big Reds. And they've come out with a little bit of different personnel. Moving some players around at least in the second half. Seems to be working. Obviously nothing showing up on the scoreboard yet. Goalie looks a little shaken up on his play and saw the official tying his shoes and a lot of times, kind of like in baseball, catcher gets hit in the face, the umpire will sweep off the plate, you know, take a little extra time, make sure the player's all right. They get a second to recoup for going right back to the action, so. Good to see mindful, of, good to be mindful of the players like that. All these officials out, you know, want safety for both teams. So. It's just one of the little things they do. Warzinski gets it up to Mallon. Robinson plays a nice ball. Then giving Chase, oh, and he cut it. And it was tough with the player there. Not out of, oh, it is eventually out of bounds. It looked like he was actually going to keep it inbounds. So Nerman was Manovic with an opportunity there. Goalie came out, really cut down his angle. And he pulled that one wide. Great scoring opportunity, though. Looks like once again, Chris Webb is back in the game. Taken out twice What for what looks like cramps. Looks like he's back on defense now. Speaking of defense, Portier on High needs some. And a breakaway and goal on the board with Tony Mercanti. And makes this game a one nothing game. And the Vikings are celebrating. They know what kind of game this has been, and they know one nothing could be all it takes, but we'll see where the Big Reds go from here. So we'll see how the Big Reds respond. Robinson wasting no time trying to take it himself up the middle. No one really there with him. And we mentioned Webb back out in the field. Seems to be playing back on defense now. Looks like they're going to try to not run him as much. Was controlling the midfield earlier. I think the Big Red just find him valuable on the field, so just trying to keep him out there in any position, really try to make a play. On the breakaway, just a great individual effort though. And these big red defenders have been asked to go one on one pretty much all night. Tried to play the angles there, but just got burned and that's eventually gonna happen when you play the kind of defense that the big reds are playing. Really hard to stop a breakaway. And now we're going to have a corner kick. So an opportunity for the Vikings here. And 
Heads up play by Eric Langhoff coming up, just making the save and now trying to push it quick the other way. Threw that one a little too far. And a Port Huron high player is down on the play. Just a little collision. Looks like shins collided. And that ball is out of bounds, so he's eventually going to be allowed to be looked at now. And if the signal for an injury. That's Ivan Neljokovic. He's had a solid game. Big Red's battling some injuries. This one looked like it was probably just shin-to-shin -shin contact, and even with those shin guards, or it could have been the knee right above it, and that would definitely explain a lot. Didn't look like a cramping issue like we saw earlier with Webb. But they'll err on the side of caution here. Looks like he'll be all right. Getting a little help walking off the field. Oh, not putting much le weight on that left leg. And I'm thinking it might have been like knee-to-knee -knee contact. There was definitely a collision. And he got the worst of it. That's what it was. Knee-to-knee -knee can hurt, but he'll sit down on the sidelines and Checked by the trainer. So get everyone back on the field before we start the clock. As we wait to throw in. For Marysville, clock starts and we're back underway. Robinson giving chase, it's a little too late there. Vikings able to clear the zone. Trying to keep that one in there, is Lang off. Been a solid defender tonight and just not giving up an inch there and eventually bumped him off the ball and that's clean. Great play by Langhoff defensively. Gets it up to Robinson who seems like he's kind of taken over the offensive responsibilities here in the second half. Trying to be more aggressive with it. We saw him a lot of passing from him in the first half. Looks seems like he's trying to take control here. Really, we've seen good play on the wings from both Golly and Robinson tonight. They're trying to keep it in that box, trying to keep just a sustained effort. And once again, Chris Webb, we see him out there. <laughs> Cleared to the sidelines. Just kind of lazily popped up. Trying to make a turn with it, trying to do something is Malin. Got the right idea, centering pass, gets it to Robinson, turn and fire, great shot opportunity and just wide. Had the right idea though, nice pass in from the wing. Played it off the chest and turn and fire. And Tough tough thing about that, those shots is you don't always exactly know where you are with your back to the net. So very easy to pull that one wide. So that's the kind of plays that the Big Reds need to be running. Great scoring opportunity. Result in the goal kick. 17-24 remaining here in the second half. Again, the Marysville Vikings up 1-0. Short goal kick there. And sometimes you can take advantage of those as an offense when they don't really even clear the defense. Trying to push the tempo is Marysville with Spencer Parker. 
but coach had other plans as we have the substitution. And that'll slow the tempo right down. So neither team really looking sharp offensively. Starting to see a lot more flashes of it here in the second half, especially from the big reds. The reds did get beat on one breakaway, though. Robinson working the far side. Try to dribble around a defender inside the box. Collision. No call. Played out towards center. Would have been a... Tough call. Robinson once again with a shot on net and an easy save for Roski. It's Brandon Roski in net. And then offsides quickly going the other way. So we'll give the Big Reds a free kick. They got to stay in this one. 15 minutes to go. Still plenty of time. Starting to see some cloudy overhead. Some all these clouds overhead. And once again, going down and slow to get up. I don't know if he's going to have the trainer called on him, but it's Chris Webb. And cramping once again. And kind of spiking the ball, upset with himself there. He wants to stay in and play in this game. And you can't blame him. Or blame a guy for trying to stay out there, but to the point where he probably just needs the rest of the night off. There's an injury timeout, so the clock will stop. Once again, it's just like a cramp. And it looked like they were trying to limit him. He's been playing midfield all day and really controlling a lot of the field. So it looks like they tried to put him back on defense. Probably hoping that he wouldn't move around so much and cramps wouldn't continue. Now they move him off to the sideline, still getting stretched out, but... Got him off the field where they can continue to play. And there is a whistle on the play. A little free kick for the Big Reds. And once again, you see him on the sideline, barely putting any weight on that left foot. He's been battling tonight. That one... Able to still play and keeping it alive. Great individual effort. Goalie thought that was all over, but golly, battling for that one. Wait the throw in. We'll see if they go short. Short, they got Warzinski. Said, gonna try to get into the box. Couldn't get it over the head of Marysville, though. And they'll clear it up to the sidelines. Let's see who gets to it first. And now we have a two-on-one break. Fortunately, stumbles with the ball a little bit. Gets the pass up to him. Opportunity and great play by Langhoff to bump him off that ball. Another great individual effort. That one rolls out of bounds. Marysville have a corner. Jeff Langhoff has made his fair share of great plays defensively tonight. Player I barely saw at the start of the first half. I don't know if he got the start tonight, but ever since he's been in, he's been nothing but a shutdown defender. Port here on high doesn't seem like they play with a sweeper defender, but he very much plays like one. Last line of defense, and he'll shut him down. Robinson trying to work the far side. Gets to Gall Golly. Tried to run it out in front of the net. Out comes the goalkeeper. Smart move to pick that one up. Right around him was Mallon. Big boot. And this is the problem with 
the defense that they're playing. Great job this time defensively by Kasich, but big boot from the goaltenders, and it's almost a breakaway. That's the danger with how Port Huron High is playing defensively today. They can do everything right, but just they get the big boot by the goalie. And they get one step on the dribble. They could have a breakaway, and that's pretty much how the only goal the game was scored today. And that one's just wide. Laying off, diving over to make the save. Looks like might even have might have slight drizzle on the field. Very very slight. Let's see if anything becomes of it. Meanwhile, we got a corner kick for Marysville. Player coming in to go short, but once again attacking aggressively the post and right to the hand, hands of Langoff. Nice little controlled kick there. Tried to get it right up to Miller. Golly on the far side, giving chase. He's got a little bit of room. See if he can make a cut inside. Gets it over to Ozmanovic. Takes a long shot. Deflected. And the goalie able to scoop it up. 11.40 now remaining here in the second half of play. Once again, big boot, and that's gotta be careful of that on defense, especially just leaving that one man back. Oh, hopefully Langhoff come out and get this one. He does. Boots it back out towards center. And you could say that the Big Reds are just playing this defensively because committing a little more players to the offense right now, trying to come back from this one. It's kind of the defense they've played most of the game. They rely heavily on their defenders. And a collision and a whistle there. The only problem with that is it's a really late whistle. So, we'll have a free kick. Play it short. Robinson wise to stay right in front of the player. That one will go wide. We'll have a goal kick. Nice play by Eric Langhoff to just let that one go wide. And mentioned it's not always easy to tell where that ball is with the net behind you. Sometimes you play balls that are going to go wide past you, but saw that one going wide and just let it go. And Got the goal kick for his team. A little miscommunication there, but Langhoff will scoop this one up anyway. Great footwork, boxing out the defense the forward on defense. That one coming towards our building. And out of bounds. Jeff laying off with the throw in. Tried to get a slow roller through. The Reds are doing a better job of Keeping people out on the wings, trying to keep the defenders out on the wings, keep all the jerseys out of the middle. That's what they're going to need, the opportunity to score. This one just played out to the sideline by Kasich. Short throw in. Challenged by Mallon. Throw in there right to Kasich. Now Langhoff, play that one off the Vikings. 
8.22 remaining. Again, the Vikings up one nothing. There's obviously some talent on this Port Huron High team, but they just need to find a way to finish. Something they're really having trouble with tonight. Again, we've seen a lot of great defensive plays. We've seen the midfielders move the ball well. Definitely some talent, but just need to get some finishes from the forwards. And everyone just looks a little bit out of touch. Like they don't, don't really have all the passing down and resulting on some longer shots and just some individual efforts of just trying to dribble it into the box yourself. And it's only late that we're really starting to see these crossing passes trying to get the ball in front of the net. So a lot of talent on this team. We'll see how they do later on in the season. Obviously still time in this one, but they got to get, get a lot of their communication down and just work on some of their schemes. And haven't seen a lot of offensive pressure, but they rely very heavily on these back defenders. Marysville hasn't been able to pressure them too much tonight, but when he gets to some of the better teams, that's going to be a problem. Got to help your teammates. No foul there. This incidental collision. Golly. Shot rejected, stays with it, tries to get it out center. Upset with himself there. Nice job to stay with it, though. He's still fighting. kick from Marysville. Again, rolled right through center. This time the Big Red's able to head it off. Playing off breaks up that offensive move. Now tries to dump it up for his own offense. Beat to the ball was Marysville. Opportunity here. Langhoff comes out of the net to stop any run Marysville had. And Marysville's going to be content. They've been doing it a lot tonight, but just dumping the ball into the zone now. They're just trying to kill time. 5 0 5 remaining. They seem to be pretty content with their 1 0 lead. Focusing on just stopping the Big Reds now. Nice challenge, just staying with it. With Mallon, who's had a nice game. Again, it's hard to point to the stat sheet on a one nothing game, but a lot of good individual plays. Just un unable to put it all together. Good to see Robinson playing, hanging out short on that one. Saw a goal kick earlier that goalie just didn't get all of, and a little pushing and shoving there will have a free kick, but goalie just didn't get all the free kick of the goal kick earlier. And those can be dangerous plays if you give it up for the offense. Ooh, out of the net, but once again, saving is Jeff Langhoff. Eric Langhoff in net. He's been aggressive all night. One goal against him, but he's had a good game. He's really on a breakaway, a tough opportunity. Tough break for a goalie. So can't blame him. He's been aggressive. Nice save there. He's keeping the ball in front of him. Only a junior.
So the Big Red's got at least another year of solid goaltending in front of them. Golly with a nice long ball. Fortunately, Vikings there first. Robinson was there to stay with it, but slips on the play. Nice challenge by Mallon. Now he could have some space. He's got Robinson with him. Pass over to Robinson. Now, good shot on net and unable to. I'm not sure if that was deflected, but wide right. And he's upset with himself after, after that shot attempt. We'll see who they give this to. It's going to be a goal kick, so there, there was no deflection. Just off the side of his foot. Just wanted it that badly. A tough break for the Big Reds. 2.30 now remaining here in the second half. Goal kick, and Big Red's wisely playing a couple players back. A little farther in defense of those, trying to prevent any more breakaways. Nice tie-up effort there, and but eventually booted into the zone. Paul Robson. And it looks like Chris Webb might be waiting on the sideline to check in. We'll see if Port Huron High subs him back in. He's already been taken off the field three different times for what looks like cramps. And he's standing. He's not on the bench. He's right by the scorer's table, and I think he wants back in on this game. Goal kicking, no substitution, so I don't know if he will. He might just want to more than anything else. opportunity, nice slide tackle, taking the ball away. That was Jake Carroll, and then a collision. And now an injury on the play. And now we have a yellow card. So tension's running high here late. So a yellow card for the Big Reds. Obviously, that's just frustration. Now the official talking with the head coach. Just a collision. And we see Chris Webb in the background. Just He's walking back to the bench. I think they finally told him his day's over. I think he wanted to check back in. Talking to coach now. And now, now we have a yellow card for the coach. So Port here on high needs to just let this one go. Head coach is Jeremy Rosenau, assistant coach Sam Seppo. Hard to tell from here, but I think that is Rosenau. That just earned himself a yellow. So obviously both teams frustrated right now, but want to get through this game, especially what's the point of getting a yellow card with a minute and eight left here in the game. Don't want to put your future at risk. It'll start to add up on you, especially ones that you don't need to take. And now in the final minutes, we'll have a scoring opportunity on a free kick for Marysville. Taken by McCann. The ball aggressively played through the box and tried to get it over to, for the header to Michael Booth. The only freshman on the team. and well, He's got a good charge on that with the header. That would have been a great play. So 47 seconds now, and again, tough game for the Big Reds. They controlled midfield. They've done well on defense, and really both teams not getting a lot going offensively, but Marysville with one breakaway, and that's really all it took. 
and opportunity here. And great save by Eric Langhoff. Unfortunately, it won't erase the goal that was already scored on him earlier. Again, not his fault on that one. Just a breakaway. Langhoff's been strong in net tonight. That one will roll out of bounds as the final seconds tick off the clock. It'll be a corner kick for Marysville, so they'll have one more opportunity if they, if they rush. And there's the horn there. That ball never even got in bounds. So that will do it for tonight's game. one nothing. the Marysville Vikings over the port here on High Big Reds. We'd like to thank you all for joining us here tonight on CPHS 6. I'm Carl Staffhorse. Good night.